uh, bi bicyclist exerts a constant force of 40 Newton on a pedal of 0.15 meter from the axis of rotation of a penny farthing bicycle. Penny farthing bicycle wheel with a radius of 50 centimeters. If his speed is 2.25 meter per second, three seconds after he starts from rest. What is moment of inertia of the wheel? If it is hoop, moment of inertia equation 14 hoop about, about symmetric axis is mr squared. R is given, but m is not given in this question. That's why you cannot calculate moment of inertia from the moment of inertia equation of the tenu about symmetric axis. So this equation is not will not help you to calculate moment of inertia of the wheel because R is given, but there is nothing in this question about the mass of the bicycle wheel. So you have just one equation left, which includes the moment of inertia, which is the Newton's second law for rotation. And yani torque is equal to net torque is equal to I times alpha. So this equation will help you, can help you to find moment of inertia if you calculate first net torque, second if you calculate angular acceleration. After that, you can easily calculate moment of inertia. So can we calculate the net torque acting on this bicycle? Well, yes, we can. Because this man is applying a constant force for Newton on a pedal. So what is pedal? The, where, the place where you are pressing your foot. So right here, this is where the force is applied, F. I draw on the picture. This is the force you applied. For the Newton force is applied on the pedal and pedal from the axis of rotation. Here is axis of rotation, this center, this is axis of rotation, this point, axis of rotation. So this force is applied 0.15 meter from the axis of rotation. Yeah, the distance D is equal to 0.15 meters from this axis of rotation. That length distance is 0.15 meters. So I can use the definition of the torque from the section one, and I can calculate the first needed thing, which is net torque. Let's calculate it. Net torque equation, torque net is equal to Force, there's just one force acting on this bicycle tire according to this problem. F D sine theta, and sine theta is 90. So just F and D you are going to multiply. Torque net is going to be F is 40 newtons. Distance from force to axis of rotation is given as 0.15 uh, meters. Sine 90 is one multiplied by one. So answer will be, let's calculate it, we calculate it. 40 multiplied by 0.15, which is equal to six. And this force produces a torque, which is six Newton meter on the bicycle tire. Now I got the torque. I got the first thing I need. I, know, I need to know net torque and I already calculated. Second thing I have to calculate is the moment by the angular acceleration. Now, if I look at the question, I will see that uh, this uh, question is talking about the starting from rest. So bicycle will start from rest, which means both initial and angular speed, initial linear speed is R0, not moving, not rotating. But after three seconds, three seconds after delta T, the time interval, this bicycle attains a speed which is equal to 2.25 meter per second. This is final, but linear. Final linear speed is this. But uh, to calculate angular acceleration, I need angular speed. I can calculate if this bicycle wheel is moving with a linear speed of final, which is 2.25 meter per second. I can calculate its angular speed, omega final, by using the equation, remember, I told you for a rolling object, we can use omega v is linear speed is equal to radius of the bicycle will multiplied by angular speed. This is just like similar to the tangential speed equation, r times omega, v tangential speed, r times omega. 
So I can calculate what omega final is. So V final, V final is given, R is given, omega final I can calculate. Then I need to know what omegas are to calculate alpha because alpha requires omega. That's why I need omega. V final is 2.25 meter per second. Radius of the bicycle tire is given as 50 centimeter, which is equal to 0.5 meters. So R is equal to 0.5 meters. Right here, 0.5 multiplied by final uh, angular speed. Divide by 0.5, divide by 0.5. We can get what final angular speed is, which is we need this uh, to calculate the uh, uh, angular acceleration, which is going to be, I think, 4.5. 4.5 radian per second. Initial angular speed is zero. Final angular speed we calculated. Now we are ready for calculating alpha. Alpha is needed to calculate I. Alpha, definition of the angular uh, acceleration is omega final minus omega initial divided by delta T. Omega final 4.5 radian per second. Initial from rest zero. Uh, delta T is uh, 623 seconds. If we divide them, we will get the angular acceleration as 1.5 um, radian per second squared. We already got angular acceleration. Now, two things we need to calculate our, our, uh, I, which is moment of inertia. One of them is net torque, which is 6. We calculated in here. Second one is alpha, 1.5. So I multiplied by 1.5. Divide by 1.5, divide by 1.5, we can get S 6 over 1.5, 4. 4 kilogram times meter squared is moment of inertia of this bicycle tire. 